what is going on everybody this is Xsider here and welcome back to my channel guys uh, Merry Christmas to you all or uh, happy holidays happy Kwanzaa uh, happy Hanukkah whatever you guys celebrate today uh, and all that so happy holidays to you guys I uh, hope you guys are enjoying it um, staying safe um, you know hope you guys got a bunch of presents uh, if you do celebrate it or uh, you know whatever whatever it may be uh, just hope you guys are having a wonderful day uh, as I am. Uh, today we are going to take a look at the Peterbilt 579. Uh, it is an enhanced Peterbilt uh, by Tom Dooley. So uh, we will take a look at that. I do have a mo another mod in here um, <coughs> Excuse me, that you can find on the Steam Workshop. It's by Pendragon. <coughs> excuse me. That is um, extra bumpers and like exhaust and side skirts. So it is on version 1.5 for that. So I do have that installed. Uh, Tom Dewey also put in like the description of the mod itself saying that you can add, um, I guess it's the Epic fairings from GT Mike. I looked it up on the Steam Workshop and I couldn't find it, uh, so I really didn't look around for it either. He also said there was like a shininess mod, I guess, to fix the shininess on the truck that you can see up front, uh, on the SCS forum. I also did not look that up, uh, as well, so what you see is what you get, uh, with this. I know... Also, someone asked me in another mod review to put, uh, I guess, a list of the mods I do have in. Um, I'm not sure how to do it, like the Google thing and all that with the chart. Uh, that I see uh, other YouTubers doing that. So I will just leave it in the description below. Uh, what I have in for this setup today on my uh, different account that I use, uh, not my main account, so my different account that I use to do my mod reviews mainly on. Um, so I will just leave that in order that I have it in in the description so if you guys have other stuff you know go through what I have uh, I'd recommend to go through and put in the stuff that I have first and then start adding stuff in there uh, and see if it conflicts with anything and all that don't just start with yours and then try to it'll be harder if you do it that way so but I would recommend doing it the way uh, that I just suggested to do it I would do it that way uh, first also whenever you download the truck there will be a readme file which will also have everything uh, in the file that you know explains everything about the truck um, you know like the different fairings of the SCS bumpers that I have in here it'll have all that in the change log uh, well not the change log but in the readme file uh, whenever you download the truck so it is highly recommended that you do go and read that as well but without further ado we will get into the customization on this so we will go into the cabin. So we have five different cabins to choose from. We have the duty cabin here. We have the stand-up sleeper, which will ask us to remove this. So we have the stand-up sleeper there. We have the stand-up 82-inch bunk, which will ask us to remove it again. So you can see there now, if we go back to the stand-up, you can see the difference there that it is. The first one, it's like, doesn't pop out as much as the 82-inch, like that's in a, a, its own molding. So you can see all the little details there that are different and plus the sleeper has a little window uh, or door actually I should say there with a window in it you can see through so the differences between those two and then we have the high-rise sleeper which also has the same differences uh, it just has the aero cab uh, deflector on top so I am going to go with the, the stand-up uh, 82 inch bunk today just because it has more depth to it than this one does you can see all the shininess there compared to this one it's not as shiny so I'm gonna go with this one moving over to the chassis we have quite a bit of uh, different chassis to choose from so I will go through them uh, all so we do have the 150 gallon which is for the day cab 150 gallon with the midwift so it's also for the day cab what I do also I wanted to point out real quick is you can see the different uh, the drivetrain there is actually lifted up because it actually does move whenever you put it down the, uh, the tag wheel down so you can see that there uh, then we have the 6x4 150 gallon so it does add the steps and all that in the day cab stack but like I said we don't have the day cab so uh, as you, it does look a little bit funny I will switch over to it though just to show you so you guys can see that there then we have the 6x4 short 200 gallon which does get rid of everything but you could fix all that in the accessories the 6x2 
midwift 200 gallon, 6x4 long 220 gallon, and 6x4 short 200 gallon, which will take us back to the day cab there. So we look at the difference between that one and this one. You can see that there. And we have the 6x2 220 gallon. It's a long, so it is a longer chassis. The long 6x2 midlift. And we have the chassis 6x4 long 300 gallon. Uh, the long 6x2 300 gallon. Then we have the longer chassis 6x4 350 gallon, which is a longer chassis. Uh, and then in the accessories itself, uh, it will have different side skirts, not as much as like a 6x2 midlift 300 gallon, but it will have it will have a, quite a bit of different ones, but it won't be as many as if you would choose the normal 6x2 300 gallon. So I'm going to go with the midlift today, so I'm which one I'm going to go with for my uh, chassis setup. Going over the engines, we only have five different engines. Now he did say since this was built on the SCS um, base model that you should have like the stripe pipe engines that you can get off the steam workshop, like the C15, the 3406E, uh, the Cummins ISX, but unfortunately they do not show up. Uh, and I have the CAT C15 625 horsepower straight pipe in my mods, but it is not showing up for this, so that has to be fixed on his end. Uh, so I wanted to point that out there before anyone says anything about that. Whenever they see it in what I have in the description below of all the mods that I have and oh it's not showing up it's not showing up because it's on his end and needs to be fixed um, so and just to prove to you guys I know I don't want to I normally don't do this but just to prove to you guys that I do have it in we'll go over to the 389 and you can see there I do have it so it's just not working for, on his end so he will have to fix that so we'll go back into this and fix everything real quick like so all right so we have the Cummins ISX 15 chipped uh, 620 horsepower we have the Cummins ISX 12 370 horsepower we have the Packard MX 13 455 horsepower the Packard MX 13 500 horsepower and the Cummins ISX 15 550 horsepower I'm going to go with the the chipped Cummins ISX 15 620 horsepower for today Moving over to the transmissions, now I'm not sure if SCS did this or if he did this, uh, I'm not really sure because I normally don't drive an SCS truck, so I would have no way to tell uh, unless I went on my other account and actually drove a, a standard truck that comes with the game. But I do like how it has the different ratio, uh, the differential and all that for the rear wheels, I do like that a lot. Uh, I think that's a nice touch, I'm not sure like I said if he did that or if SCS did that. So. I can't really give credit to whoever, uh, unfortunately, but I do like that uh, option there, unless I go back and look to see if he actually did it or not. So that's the only way I'd be able to give credit to. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to give credit to both of them, because I, I don't know. So, But we do have the Eaton Fuller 10-speed uh, here with a 285 gear ratio. We have the Eaton Fuller 13-speed with a 355. We have the Eaton Fuller 10-speed with a retarder. It still has a 285. We have the Eaton 4 18 speed with a 325, the Allison 4500 6 speed automatic with a 370. We have the Eaton 4 13 speed with a retarder with a 355. Uh, we have the Eaton 4 18 speed with a retarder with a 325, and then the Allison 4500 6 speed automatic with retarder with a 370. So I'm going to go with the Eaton 4 18 speed with a retarder with a 325 for the rear wheels. And moving over to the interior, we there's nothing that has changed here. So we do have the Prestige uh, and then the Platinum, as always. So that's still standard, nothing has changed with that. Moving over to paints, nothing has changed here with the paints at all. Uh, I did check, uh, such as like Divided, the Wings, uh, these two. Uh, actually, I think it's just the Divided. Yeah, it's just the Divided. So this one here, the black, would normally be for the side skirts down below, but these are standard plastic so there's no they're not painted at all so we will actually go and look at that real quick see if I can find one uh, that is painted if I can find it here so there we go so there's the painted one there so we can see here's the difference there so that does change all that this one 
I thought that this one did change the bottom, but it's the first one. This one, I'm not sure what it actually changes on the truck at all. So, unfortunately, I can't show you that. And then this one is the top, and then this one, whoop, and then this one is that one over there. So, that all works, uh, which is nice. So, you, do, you will have to change the bottom skirt out for that. Uh, but everything else in here... It does work. I did check out the custom metallic, which we will do here, so it all works. Uh, I had tested this in another, on my own pretty much, and uh, went through all the paints, and I did check they all do work. So, I check the normal custom color here, so you can see that it all works there. But I'm going to go with the dark red metallic uh, for today. <clears throat> not there's no new paints or nothing like that so he didn't do any of that he just enhanced the truck a little bit for the cosmetic purposes moving over to the accessories which is the biggest part of this uh, so we will get into that so up top here we have a satellite antenna dish that we can add there on the back which is very nice up top here we have roof flares so this did come from the W900 so you, he did add those in there which is very nice and they do work can see there we have a light bar so these I believe came from the Volvo VNL by area death uh, pretty sure I'm pronouncing that completely wrong but these did come from there so we have the roof bar and slots we can add there we have roof slots and then we have more roof slots and another one so it's all different configurations with them which is nice so you could add different lights up here uh, if you'd like, like so uh, I'm probably going to go with the the roof bar and lights. So I'm probably going to add just a normal mini amber lights up here like that. Alright, there we go. Uh, we do have an interior light, which also came from the VNL. So we do have the, the blue one, the green light, the light blue, uh, the orange... I'm not going to click on them all. The red, which I actually am going to put on. Uh, the white, and then we have yellow. So, I'm going to go with the, the red interior light. Uh, moving down to the sun visors. We do have a, quite a bit of different ones to choose from. So, I will go through those all. So, we have the standard sun shield. We have the standard sun shield with a wing. Which adds a wing on the top. We have the exclusive sun shield. We have exclusive sun shield with a wing. Uh, we have our exclusive chrome sun shield and then we have exclusive chrome with a wing then we have the chrome sun visor bug uh luxurious one i guess you would say and then you have the chrome sun visor sharp uh but i'm going to go with the the exclusive sun visor with the wing here with the painted one like that so that's what i'm going to go with um we have horns so we have a horn adapter so the first one and the last one are pretty much the same the, the dots form are just slightly moved so I'll show you that there. So here's the horn adapter there. So you can see the dots on the side. And then we have the horn adapter S, which does move the dot up a little bit. And then we have a horn adapter 2, which adds up top, has all these slots up here, which you could add horns onto. Uh, but go back into that. So you can show you the difference here on the side. You could add the horns in, which really, I mean, you can do that, but they kind of stick out a lot. So... I, I don't know, they just look a little bit weird to me on the side. Only a certain amount of trucks can have them really on the side that make them look nice. But I think they're just too big for being on the side. But, I mean, that's just my opinion, though. So, But I will put them up top here. I'll go with these Super Roar all-rounded ones like that, which Peterbilt normally does have on their trucks. So I will do that there. Unfortunately, I wish in this pack, uh, it says accessories like horns, and lights. I wish I would add a beacon in here, such as for this, so you could add a beacon over here. So, the people that did make this uh, horn and adapter pack, that they, I think they should add a beacon in there, where you could add it on the side here. I think that would be pretty neat. Um, going down here, we don't have anything special. It's just a driver's plate and co-driver's plate. Uh, over here, we have a wind deflector, a window deflector, so... That goes on the side windows like so, which is nice. We have main mirrors, so we have the mirrors duty, mirror standard, which is painted, and then we have the mirrors exclusive, so nothing has changed there. 
Uh, let's see. We have a side blinker here, so we do have this. Also came from the VNO, and it does work. You can see there. Uh, well, it will not light up, but it actually will work once we're out. Uh, I'll show you outside once we're all finished. So we have the door handles here. We have the standard. We have the handle trim, and then we have the chrome ones. So nothing's changed with that as well. Down here we have the cabin panels. So we have a side stripe there. We have a painted stripe, which unfortunately doesn't go all the way back to the aero cab uh, Porsche or the aero kit. Uh, then we have the five inch flares for the side stacks. So you can see that they are cut right there. We have the round side flares, which are just the same ones, but it's, these are for uh, if you put the stacks in the back. And we have the round side flares paint. The 12 inch flares by Shin Zero or 2044. So you can have the side stacks there. And then you have the oval, oval side flares. Then we have the oval side flares paint. Now, what I will show you if we go back into here, we go to the longer chassis, such as that. And we go back into here, we go back down to cabin panels. We have the double round side flares. So it adds side flares on the bottom skirt as well, which I think is very nice. If you decide to choose the longer, chassis uh, I did not so you don't have that option plus also you can't put side stacks on I mean you can but it will this cutout won't be taken away it'll be there so it'll look like it's, it's clipping through the panel itself so I did want to point that out to you guys go back in here and put this back on all right so I will I'm actually gonna go with the the five inch flares for the side stacks. So that's what I'm gonna go with. Uh, moving on to the front, we'll go to the bug deflectors. Nothing has changed with the bug deflectors. We still have the same two, like so. Uh, going down here, I was hoping this would be grill options, but it's not. We do have the Peterbilt logo, so we have a chrome logo there, and then we have a light Peterbilt logo that lights up like that. Uh, I'm going to take it off because it really doesn't look right in the front of the truck. Uh, moving on to the side mirrors. So we do have, uh, this is something also too that he's done. So we do have our standard left hood mirror. But he has also made the other three that you see here match what the main mirrors do as well. So if you have standard up here, you could have them down on the front of the truck as well. So we do have the duty ones, the standard which are partially painted. And then we have the left hood mirror. Which is really nice and it's on both sides as well so we have the right hood mirror duty standard and exclusive so I, I personally don't like them so you guys already know that so I'm gonna get rid of those uh, moving on down to the bull bar I do uh, I did actually forget to add in the, the placker uh, mod where you could have the banner going across or actually have the placker uh you could have the flags on there with i believe that does come with the beacon uh, i'm not sure i will test it out after off camera uh if it does once again like i said you are able to add them up top up here with these light slots uh, option with the light bar so i will test that off camera and if it does have the beacon i will put that in there as well so you guys can uh see that it does have the beacons uh, but moving on to the bull bars we have the bull bar massive we have bull bar simple we have bull bar itself bull bar extra large we have bull bar black bull bar fencing and then we have the sturdy bull bar black like so I'm gonna uh, take them off because I, I would normally put the placard or, um, or the banner or the oversized loaded banner on here but I don't have it in because I forgot to put it in. Um, we're moving on to the bumper. So we have quite a different selection of bumpers. Some of them are the same. Uh, I will point that out though. So unfortunately that has to be fixed. But we do have the bumper duty, the bumper duty half chrome, the bumper duty low beam, bumper duty half chrome with low beam. Then we have the bumper duty high beam, which I'm not sure what the difference is between that high beam and the low beam. As you can see there, there's really no difference at all. And we have the bumper duty half chrome high beam, the bumper standard, 
bumper standard half chrome, bumper chrome, bumper standard low beam, then we have the bumper standard half chrome low beam, bumper standard high beam, bumper standard half chrome high beam, which is pretty much the same as that, no difference. Then we have the bumper chrome large, as you can see there. Then we have the bumper exclusive half paint, the bumper exclusive low beam, which is all chrome, bumper exclusive half paint low beam, bumper exclusive high beam, which is the same as the low beam. And then we have the bumper exclusive half paint. Then we have the bumper exclusive high beam. We have the bumper exclusive half paint high beam. Um, now I, I will go back and say like the ones that do look the same like this one and this one. Uh, I'm not sure if it actually like if you have low beam selected if the low beams will actually work or not. Uh, I will test that out though. I will put one on just to test that out. Instead of the high beams coming up here, they'll be down here. Uh, and then we have the bumper chrome with the large flares like so. Uh, so I'm really going to go with the standard bumper here with the low beam like that and we'll test that out outside once we're done uh, if it does come up top then that needs to be fixed because these are supposed to come on when you put the quote high beams on but it's supposed to be for low beams if you have it selected moving down below we have the lower grill guard which we have two so we have the sting two and then we have the sting four epic uh, which really doesn't fit this bumper configuration uh, as you can see it's supposed to hang off the bumper and stick out a little bit but I do not have, uh, I'm not going to go with this one. I'm going to go with the Sting 2, like that. Uh, I bet if you did, we'll actually look at that. If you did pick this one, you could probably add, let's see if they have it in here. You probably don't. Uh, bumper guides. So you could add the bumper guides, as you can see there, which actually do fit on there. So you could add that, but it, like I said, it doesn't really fit this bumper. Uh, We'll go back and actually look at what bumper it would actually fit on. So, not really that one either. Not that one at all. So, I mean, I don't know which one it would actually fit on with. <laughs> so, unfortunately, I can't choose. But, I mean, if you did want to have that on, you could uh, to add those bumper guides. But, you can see this way. If you put them on there scroll down that they don't really fit so that is a bummer but I am going to go back up here uh, we do have a 12 inch LC that you could put on there so we'll go like that and you can see that there or we have a 5 inch one that we could put on here right there Oop. so you could add that on there if you'd like um, probably going to add these on here just uh, just because even though they're not straight and they don't stick out too far um, I'm actually looking at it I don't really like it so I'm gonna go with the the five uh, inch LC's I'm gonna go here Oop. Uh, for, the, for this one and this uh, note as you can see I zoom in you can see that it clips through the light a little bit so either the node has to be moved over slightly or this has to be fixed this little piece in the middle there it's a little hard to see but it does kind of clip through the light or the light kind of clips through it so wanted to point that out there and then we'll put the other ones on like so and there we go all right so now that's all fixed so moving on to the side of the tires nothing has changed with the tires I'm just gonna go with the Peterbilt oval disc here I, I do have Vipers 389 in here I do not have TAMs in uh, I think there was a, a mod issue, uh, like texture-wise, with like the horns or something. I don't know, but I don't have his truck in there. I do have Vipers off of the Steam Workshop uh, in here. Moving on to the side, to side skirts. We'll scroll up here. So we have the Duty Plastic Side Skirts, the No Sky skirt, Side Skirts, sorry, but Steps. And then we have the Duty Plastic Side Skirts Chrome. With the mud flap hanging on the back, we have the chrome tank lights. We have duty side skirts. Uh, with duty side skirts again, which actually doesn't have a flap 
on it, which is nice. Then we have the duty side skirts chrome with the mud flap. So you can see the difference there between... Actually, there really isn't a, no difference at all between these two. The duty side skirts and the duty side skirts. Oh yeah, there is. And it's in the back here. So you can see that the chrome there in the back. So that's the difference there. You can see. Alright, so we'll scroll back around here. And we have the standard plastic side skirts. The standard plastic side skirts. So it has the mud flap hanger in the back there. So we have the standard side skirts chrome. Right there. With the mud hang. We have the exclusive plastic side skirts. Exclusive plastic side skirts with the chrome. And then we have the exclusive side skirts with the chrome in the back. Now, I would like to do the standard side uh side skirts uh, without the the mud flap like that like I wish they had this one painted but they do not so I don't know if they missed that uh, or if actually Tom Dooley missed that or not but uh, I hope he fixes that because I do like the, the painted side skirts uh, it's just unfortunately you can't have it without either a built-in mud flap so which does suck I mean you could do this but once we get the fenders, it'll add its own custom fender in there if you want. And this doesn't go away. So, unfortunately, I can't do that like that, like I wanted to. So, I will go back up to chrome white tanks. Like that. So, I am going to go with that. And there's no step on the side here either if you do it this way. Uh, I'm not, I think this is more for a day cab. Uh, so, we will just go down here. And do we'll do that one all right so on the side here we do have fenders so we have the quarter fender chrome as you can see like I said I wish this wasn't here so you could have your own but Viper quarter fender so it's Vipers then we have the half fender which actually is low so and then we have the half fender paint which actually is up a little bit so if you do have the mid lift on like I do it will actually fit then we have the heavy load fenders there and then we have the painted one um i want to do the half fender paint but like i said i'm going to have to change out the side skirt which i don't want to do just because that quarter fender doesn't really have a purpose so neither does the exclusive it really doesn't serve a purpose purpose at all so could do the duty side skirts there. Uh, I mean, I could do that, which actually has the tanks, or I'm sorry, the steps in the back. So probably gonna go with that one there. Uh, then down here we do have neon, so we have blue neon lamps, and then we have red ones. And since I do have a red truck, I am gonna have red lamps. Uh, we go to the back. Uh, nothing's changed with the tires, so or the wheels at all. So I'm gonna go with the Seagull wide chrome here. Go down to the Peterbilt. That and then change out the tire. And do the same for this one. Oh actually I didn't pick the chrome one. There we go. Now we're good. And do the same thing for here. Alright. Moving on to the back now. We just have the three uh, standard mud flaps that come with the truck. So we have a white ones, standard, and then we have exclusive. Uh, I'm going to go with the standard. I do have a, uh, a mud flap pack in that does work with this. Uh, it's been working since I've added it in here months and months ago. So... It still works. I uh, just once again I don't have it in, unfortunately, so I can't show you guys. But I will add it in to the whole. Uh, I guess you would say the change log or the in the description below. Uh, we have, do have a rack here, which is a bar rack, so you can add that on the back. Uh, you can add lights, but I don't know if he actually added in that option to actually add in the lights because I do have vipers in here, but it's not doing anything. So if you wanted to have 
just a normal rack like that you can uh, but I'm going to personally just take it off so I will do that there um I don't believe there's anything else uh oh forgot the stacks so we've got to get the exhaust here if I can find them uh we'll do the air conditioner first so on the right hand side here we do have the aircon full skirts we have the full skirts long so if you do have a longer one you can see that the piping there on the side between that one and this one and then we have the aircon with the APU and then we have the aircon with the APU long so that's if you choose the long chassis uh, but I did not so I'm just gonna go with the aircon like that the APU. Now, as you can see, it is going through the stack, so it doesn't really work. Uh, but if we go to the exhaust here, so we do have the caliber, then we have the double caliber, the double rear outward caliber, the double short caliber, the double short outward caliber, the double side outward caliber. You can see them there on the side. So that's why I went with the the light panels on the side there with the notch in it for the stacks. Then we have the slope side caliber, the straight side caliber. Now this is supposed to be straight piped, but as you can see that the pipe is actually coming through the heat shield there for the exhaust. So that definitely needs to be fixed. Then we have the side double caliber, zoom back out there. And then we have the side straight double caliber and side sloped double caliber and then we have the SCR Eco exhaust which is underneath the truck which you can't really see but it is underneath the truck but I am gonna go with the uh, let's see I'm gonna go with the slope double caliber on the side stacks there like that uh, I believe that's everything for the outside of the truck so we will be wrapping this up here soon um, go over to the interior accessories. There's nothing that's changed in here at all, except for, well, nothing. <laughs> uh, yeah, nothing's really changed. I mean, if you do have the, the creations pack in here, you can change the steering wheel to whatever you have or whatever you want, really. Uh, I'm just going to change it to that. So, but if not, you can still do the exclusive or the default steering wheel. But I'm going to go with this one here, which is the Oh, excuse me. The pinion polyurethane steering wheel. Um, also, too, over here with the side mirror. So he has the passenger side mirror, which was just a normal. So we'll go back on the outside, which is that there. Then we have the side mirror standard, which is painted. And then we have the side mirror exclusive, which is chrome so you do have that there so it is another thing that he didn't add or pretty much change the color of the standard or the duty one to standard and exclusive which is nice but I'm gonna go with the standard match the rest of the truck um, so yeah so there's the truck uh, everything seems to be good uh, to my liking so we're gonna confirm this and we will trade in Alrighty there. Alright, so we'll get rid of that. So we will go to the outside. Put the tag whip up here. Like that. Alright. We'll start the truck up. Alright, do the lights. Alright, so yeah, so if you do have the low beam one on there, uh, instead of the lights being full on the top, the bottom ones will come on, which is nice. And then you do have, you still have your high beam, so it is nice to have that so you can drive around you know, with these on, and then whenever you put your actual lights on and put the low beams on too, so you can see better at night, and then you can still get your high beams, so you see all that there, which is nice. So I'm gonna do, I do, oh, 
can talk. I am glad that the, the little beam bumper actually works like it's supposed to. I do like that a lot. Uh, do have the turn signals here. So you can see the turn signals there. You can see the side marker one that we added there work. Just go back to the back to make sure it all works. And then there's the right side. You see there, do the first lights. So they all work. Alright, do the horn. Air horn. Do the wipers. Uh, don't remember which button does the wipers. There we go, it's the P button. You can see the wipers there. And there we go. Alright. So, as you guys normally know, I will drive around so you guys can hear the sounds and all that. Uh, the truck. So, we can do that. I do like the, I am loving the rescale that SCS had done with this, uh, with the game. So, uh, I do like how now that whenever you come out of the dealership in Bakersfield that it does have a, uh, stoplight. side. I do wish that these duty, uh, duty, uh, tanks I have on here had lights underneath the steps or something. But just as a add-on option, not like stuck to it where, oh jeez, to where, you know, you're stuck with it, but, you know, just have that option like that. trailer. Alright, so we'll come over here. Alright. And shut the truck down. Alright, so this is the uh, the Peterbilt 579 enhanced by Tom Dooley. I do have once again I do have the extra bumpers and exhaust and side skirts in from Pendragon. Uh, they try to look up the extra fairings from uh, GT Mike on the Steam Workshop. Unfortunately, I cannot find them. Uh, if someone does have them or does find them on there or whatever, please uh, put it into the comments below so I could add them in here uh, for my own personal use, uh, so I could see you know what it really does change. Um, also, there is, like I said, there is a shininess fix for the, I guess the other, uh, as you guys saw in the beginning, for the other two sleepers uh, on the SCS forum. I don't know where, uh, I like I said, I didn't look it up, so 
uh, and I don't have that in here. Also too, uh, once again, I will add in the description all the mods that I have in for this setup today. Uh, pretty much all my mods that I do will have pretty much the same setup. The only thing that changes is whatever truck that I'm doing. So I will put it in once. Uh, if I do make any other changes, I will put that in there. Uh, such as like I didn't add in the oversized load beaker or placard in the front which it might add the beacons I gotta look at that uh, hopefully it does um, to where you could add the beacons on top of the truck uh, so you can have an oversized load heavy haul truck uh, with all this enhanced uh, stuff on it so um, once again this has been X Satter here guys uh, if you did like the video please leave a thumbs up uh, subscribe if you are new to the channel we're almost at 300 subscribers uh, so I would like to see if we could hit that before the new year is over uh, be a pretty nice goal to accomplish we have a week left pretty much of uh, till the year is over so let's see if we could do that uh, also once again Merry Christmas to you guys uh, happy Hanukkah happy Kwanzaa uh, and just in general happy holidays to everyone uh, be safe uh, please enjoy this day with your family and all that and, and your friends if you do have anything planned on you know you guys going anywhere or whatever so want to send that message out to you guys I uh, hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will catch you guys in the next one all right take care